All right. I just want to make a quick video on a uh, letdown tool because in the last video I showed cleaning the mainspring, but sometimes to take the mainspring out, you need to wind it up or let it down. And the, and the letdown tool is perfect for that. It's interchangeable bits depending on the size of the winding arbor. But you can make your own. And it's very simply just a piece of wood with a hole drilled in it and a slot cut in it for the key to be held firmly and snugly there. So I'll just quickly show you how I do that to uh, take out the mainspring without a $40 set of specialty tools here, the letdown tool. And if you're going to be working on clocks, this is real handy, but if you're in a pinch and you don't have it, you're just doing one clock, this is pretty much all you need. This is what I do. Before I had one of these, I'll show you what I did. Because when you have the key and you wind this up, when, when you let the key go, it can spin around and these wings of the key, if the spring is strong enough, it can take the skin off your fingers. And this flying around is dangerous. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this piece of wood here scrap you can even use a piece of you can even use a piece of PVC pipe I'm just going to mark the center doesn't have to be precise a hole to get it started and then I'm going to drill a hole and what I did was I looked for a drill bit I looked for a drill bit that was as big around as the end of the key. And I drilled a test hole in the piece of wood to make sure that it would fit nice and snug so that fits. Okay. But definitely the key won't go in, so I'm going to cut a slot in here. You can use, you can use a, uh, you can use a handsaw, but I'm going to use the bandsaw because it's quicker. And I'm just doing this freehand. Slot. All right, I cut that a little bit deeper. Okay, there we go. See? Okay, there it is. All right, well, I showed in my, uh, I think it was uh, the second episode of my Sekosha clock repair video that uh, how to let down the mainspring so essentially all you do is use your tool like if, if, if the spring is wound where ha half there's half say it's halfway wound or all the way wound sometimes your clock is all the way wound, wound and it will not run so, so essentially you, you just need to release the, the, the click here and different clocks are made differently. On the Sakosha clock, you can just lift this wire and that reduce, releases the click. On other ones, you have to take the wire and actually physically pry it off the click or away from the click. Or you can hold the click with a point of a screwdriver, just raising it up. There's different ways. So basically all you want to do 
is once you turn this a little bit, release the click, and then you just let this spin in a controlled manner to let down your spring. See? Some springs are more powerful than others. It all depends on your clock. But you just want to make sure it's all the way down. And then if you don't have your retaining clip, Straight up. See? And now your spring is out. So, just a little tip on how you can make your own tool. And if you happen to work on another clock and the arbor is a different size, you can, chances are, you'd be able to put the that key in here also. Or you might have to drill a hole a little bigger. It all depends. But, at least you have the means to let the power of the springs down safely without these wings spinning around. If you're gonna work on uh, several clocks or you like to take it up as a hobby, I would suggest investing in a set of these let down tools with interchangeable bits. You'll, that'll, that will be one purchase that you might have to bite the bullet to pay a little bit, bit of money, but it's worth it. All right, well, that's, that's just a uh, short little video on, on what I've done and perhaps an idea for what other people can do. And you can make this as elaborate as you want. You could turn a handle on the lathe. You can, there's all kind of videos on how to make different letdown tools, but this is how I did it. I thought it was very easy and almost anyone could do it. So there it is. All right. I'm still working on uh, Psychosia Clock Repair Part 4 video. In the meantime, I have to go practice on the organ. Thanks for watching.